This will be a brief introduction to capacitance. Before we begin, make sure you understand the mathematics and visuals for the electric field and electric potential. After viewing this video, please proceed to the topics of electric current and its application to circuits. Let's take the example of a conducting plate with positive net charge. Recall that positive charges create an electric field Hence, the more positive charge you have, the greater the electric field. Recall also that the electric field depends on distance. In a previous video, we have also derived the expression for electric potential. We did this through a derivation using electric potential energy as it changes along the electric field. The electric potential is highest near positive charges and lowest near negative charges. Between the two, there is a change in electric potential known as voltage. Understand, however, that the electric field is a vector, but potential is a scalar. When visualizing potential, you can think of it as a series of contour lines known as equipotential surfaces around which the potential is the same. Equi, the same, potential. This is similar to height contours on geographical maps. But how do we create the difference in potential in the first place? We need a source of force, in this case, referred to as the electromotive force that will create the voltage for that charge separation. A simple battery 
is just one example of a mechanism that can create this electromotive force. Recall that voltage implies a change in potential energy, hence potentially delivering work. When you consider batteries of different voltage, you are comparing difference in electromotive force. That electromotive force will result in difference in charge. Hence, difference in potential energy to be delivered. The definition of capacitance. The proportionality constant, capital C, for capacitance describes the linear relationship between voltage and the charge separation it can create. This is a scalar quantity. The units are coulombs per volt. These are referred to as farads. In the upcoming video, we will use this definition to simplify our calculations about delivering electrical potential energy. This will help us predict the behavior of a light bulb in different scenarios.